application denied? God, this is not fair. I'm doing everything possible I know how to do, and yet I still do not secure a job. God, what am I doing wrong? Why, God? Why is this happening to me? Let me call Susan, she will know what to do. Hello, sis. What's going on? I had to call as soon as I could. What's going on? Look at this. Application rejected for the last two years. God. Back to back. I've been receiving application denied. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> My sister, have you broken the wall? Whoa. I'm talking Whoa. about rejection. You're talking about war. Whoa, what about you? Please. Look, the Bible says, whosoever breaks the wall that the serpent will bite. Is there any sin in your life you want to share with me? No. No unforgiveness. No bitterness. No gossiping. There is no sin I can think of. And you are paying your tithes and offering? And you are serving in church, and you are giving to the poor. I mean, re giving, and there's no disagreement between you and your husband. Yes, 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 I know there's no disagreement between me and my husband. Then, my sister, this is not normal. I kind of sense some spiritual strongholds operating in this issue that we need to destroy. This is not the time to cry. This is the time to war. <laughs> have you fasted? My sister, have you fasted? My friend, leave that one. Ah. I can't be fasting up and down. Like you and your husband, left and right. You see, <laughs> you see this big, big uh, figure right here. I have to maintain this. This is one of the reasons my husband married me. I beg, I only do the joy yearly fasting. That's it, Miko. <laughs> my sister, look, look, look. Mm -hmm. Listen to me and listen to me very well. Okay? The Bible says in Matthew 17 21. However, this kind does not go away except by praying and fasting. It simply means there are some strongholds operating in our life that will never go except we pray and fast. I kind of sense that we need to go on a fasting. Are you ready for your life to change? Yes, absolutely. Good! Let me go get some prayer point ready. Okay. And I will be back. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, sis. Hi, hi, welcome. Thank you How for are coming. You? Thank you, I appreciate you for coming. Thank you, sis. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you, God bless Hallelujah. You, yeah. you know, as I said, we are here mm -hmm. to start our praying. Yes. Okay? Yes. So we're going to be in the attitude of prayer. Hallelujah. Oh, my Father, my God, we give you praise. Oh, we are here on behalf of our sister today. Your word says in Matthew 18, 20, that we are two or three are gathered in your name. There you are in their midst. We can feel your presence in our midst today. First John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, that you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Brethren, at this hour, I want us to confess our sins and repent 
from known and unknown sin. Let's begin to pray. Le maya bakada hipoko do seke de 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 de. Father, we ask for your mercy. Show us your mercy, Lord. Show us your mercy, Lord. We pray the blood of Jesus. Show us your mercy, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, Psalm 100, 4 to 5 says, We shall enter into his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. At this time, I want us to enter into his presence and begin to worship him, begin to honor our maker, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the ancient of days, the everlasting father, our only true God. Baba, we worship you. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name, Jehovah. Hallowed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer point is Psalm 24 from 7 to 10. The Bible says, and lift up your hands, O you gates, and be you lifted up, you everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mightily in battle. The Lord mightily in battle. Lift up your head, O you gates. And be you lifted up, you everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah, brethren, we are going to pray. We are going to pray over our sister now that every demonic gate, every demonic wall, every spiritual stronghold operating around her life to be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Every demonic wall, every demonic stronghold, Every spiritual wall uh, operating in your life uh, be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, we are still praying. The next prayer point is to read Bible verses. Job 36 32 says, He faced his hand with lightning and commanded to strike his mark. Psalm 3 verse 7 says, Arise, God. Deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies in their jaw and break the teeth of the wicked. Psalm 89, verse 23 says, He crushes his foes before him and strike down all his adversaries. We are going to pray that Jehovah God will deliver our sister now in Jesus' name. We are going to let the power of God strike down every demonic wall every demonic stronghold every demonic gate that is preventing our sister from getting the job to be lifted in the name of Jesus we are going to let the power of God strike down every spirit of poverty every, de every demonic stronghold of financial lack every spirit of delay that is operating in her life to be lifted up in the name of Jesus according to the word of God God, let the power of God strike in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, according to your word, let your power strike, 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 strike. Strike in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for praying with me. Thank you for praying along with me. I would not have been able to do this. Oh, I feel like that. I'm My sister. Hey, hey, my sister. But I sense, brethren, that we need to keep on praying. It's like. We are almost there, but we are not there yet. Don't be tired. Don't be weary. I want us to go back to the attitude of prayers. My father, my God, 
As your daughter, you hear me because you always hear me. The overboard, the God of war. The over support, the God of angel armies. Uh, let your power strike down every demonic stronghold and operate in the life of our sister. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray. The over the power, the God of war, strike. Strike! 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 And strike! In Jesus' name! In Jesus' name! Hey, papa, papa, papa. Hey, Lima. Thank God, my sister. God has answered our prayer. Every stronghold in your life has been lifted and broken in the name of Jesus. I think you should apply to another job now. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. This is By His Grace Sales. Is this Timmy David? Yes, this is she. I'm calling because it seems there's been a mistake. I see we sent you a rejection letter last week, but that was a computer error. We would love to offer you a managerial role with an increased salary of $150,000 plus benefits. Why did I apply for a managerial role? Based on your qualifications, we think you would be better suited to the role of manager rather than supervisor. Is this acceptable? I don't know what to say. Say yes! Yes, I accept! Great. We'll send you over the offer letter and benefits package, and we'll be waiting on your signature. Welcome to the family, Miss David. Thank you. Hallelujah! Oh, Papa! Lord, I thank you. You are forever faithful. You are an awesome God. If not for you, I have nowhere to be found. Thank you, everyone, for praying with me. What a family for. Yes, Come on, everyone. Let's go celebrate. Hallelujah. This is a time of prayer. As you saw in the drama, a lot of times we have areas in our lives where we don't even know that there's a stronghold operating. We don't even know that there's a gate that is being lifted, that is being in place. So we're gonna pray now that every demonic gate operating in our lives must be lifted up now according to the word of God in Jesus' mighty name. Before we pray, we want to come to God with a pure heart. So in the name of Jesus, let's come before God in repentance. Let's come before him, repent of any pride, of any bitterness, any unforgiveness. 
The Bible says if you have any odd against your brother, don't come to the altar. Go and fix it first. So let's pray now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would purify our hearts today. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you would remove all unrighteousness from us. I pray, oh God, that you would forgive our sins. 1 John 1, 9 says that you, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive. Lord, we confess every thought, every action, everything that we have done or said or thought that has not pleased you, that has grieved you, we repent in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. In the mighty, powerful name of Jesus, we repent as a church. Individually, we repent. As a church, we repent for anything that we have said or done that has not pleased you, O oh God. We come before you in repentance in the name of Jesus. Now, let's begin to tell God how awesome he is. We had an amazing worship this morning. Open your mouth and tell God what a magnificent father he is. Tell him what a magnificent deliverer he is. Tell him he is all powerful, almighty, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. He is the God of our entire universe. He created our universe and there is nobody like him. Lift up his name, lift up his name. Oh Father, you are amazing. God, you are the only God that we could ever ask for. We love you, Father. We love you, Father. We love you, Father. We love you, Father. We thank you because there is nobody on this earth that is like you. There is nobody on this world that can deliver like you can. You are the only one whose hand is mighty to save. You are the only one whose hand can crush down a wall, can crush down a stronghold in the blink of an eye. Father God, we thank you and we worship you for who you are because you are the only one. You are the only one that can love us and take care of us in the way that we need. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now I want all of you, as a family, let's look at these scriptures together. Psalm 24, verse 7 to 8. The crux of this drama. The climax of this drama. And a verse. The Holy Spirit is one. Because this is the verse we use at Holy Communion for this month. It says, lift up your heads, O ye gates and be lifted up you everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord god almighty the lord mighty in battle job 36 to 32 he fills his hands with lightning and what strikes his mark in the name of jesus psalm 3 verse 7 arise O lord and deliver us my god deliver us strike all of our enemies on the jaw Break the teeth of every wicked demonic stronghold in our lives in Jesus' name. And Psalm 89 verse 23, God will crush our foes before us and strike down our adversaries. So now what I want you to do is open your mouth and take these Bible verses and pray them for yourself. Pray them for your descendants. Pray them for everybody that God puts on your heart that God will lift up every demonic gate today. Today is a day for deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's begin to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that every single demonic stronghold operating in the lives of our congregation members be lifted up now in Jesus' name. Father God, your word says, be lifted up, O you gates. Be lifted up, O you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Be lifted up. Gates of depression be lifted up in Jesus' name. Gates of suicide be lifted up in Jesus' name. Gates of... Gates of depression. Gates of pride. Gates of unforgiveness. Gates of... Gates of infirmity. Every single demonic gate operating in the lives of Family Praise Chapel Church members. Be lifted up now in the name of Jesus. Father God, let your power strike every single demonic gate in the mighty name of Jesus. Use the word of God, the two double-edged sword of the word of God to destroy every single gate in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And now we are going to pray for our church. We're going to take some time to pray for this house of God that God has anointed. And the demonic stronghold operating against our church. Delaying us from fulfilling our purpose as a church. Be lifted up now. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father God, every single demonic opposition, every demonic blockage against our church, we command you to be lifted up right now. Let the power of God strike down every adversary of this church in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 And now, the last thing that we are going to do is exactly what we did in the drama. God told the Israelites, he told Joshua to tell the Israelites to march around the wall of Jericho seven times and to shout, and the walls fell down. So for the next 10 seconds, we are going to shout, strike! And the power of God is going to strike down every stronghold you just prayed about. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, not by my will, not by your will, but by the will and the power of the Most High God. Your hand is your battle axe. Join me to pray. Strike! 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 the Lord. Uh, I'm going to give us one more opportunity to do the strike path again. And I wanted to just take clue from the drama itself. Remember when they started praying and interceding? The little angel was striking the wall but when the angel needed reinforcement, which you can see in the book of Daniel, when there was battle over the Pasha, angel Michael had to be sent to help another angel. It was only when he came that the breakthrough was fully finished. It's not like one angel cannot do the job but you don't want it to take your lifetime. If it remains just one day for you to live, God will see do it before you die. But why do you want to enjoy your breakthrough just one day? So the other angel came. As the sister said, I think we should keep on praying. And then the one with the nuclear power came. And as soon as he came, he was not just chipping away struck the whole world down. Amen? Now, why am I saying this? What they show in the drama is in the physical. But that is exactly how it happens in the spiritual realm. Because the Bible says, whatever you bind on earth, shall what? Be bound in heaven. And whatever you set loose on earth, will be set loose 
So I'm just saying, some of you look at the strike, you look at what, what are they striking? Where is it? You know, uh, we're not boxing against the winds. We are, we are prophesying. We are believing God. We are confessing God's word. So uh, those of you who are too educated, you know, uh, we, we appear like little children before you. I shall plead with you. Because when it comes to some of the challenges of life, when they are demonic in nature, science cannot handle it. Amen? And if by any chance you are black like me, and you come from the same country I come from, where is the headquarters of the witches of the world, not just Africa, uh, then I think you should do your own strike very well. So let me just give you a few more seconds and then I, I'll pray and do my part of the job. Amen? All right? So are you ready? So let me call uh, my foot soldier here. Where are you to strike again? And, uh, and then they will, hopefully they will get ready. Everybody ready? You have your battle axe ready. This is representing the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, the double-edged sword, the mighty powerful sword of God. Are you ready? In Jesus' name, strike! tell you based on the word of God which I know God has exalted according to scripture above his name the battle is won I say the battle is won in Jesus mighty name <laughs> 